Brought to you by GTA, your island, your network. A declaration of war or a war of words. North Korea claims the U.S. has declared war with the rogue state after President Donald Trump tweeted that North Korea, quote, won't be around much longer, end quote. President Trump also said that if the U.S. chooses to use its military options, it would be, quote, devastating for North Korea. However, Guam's Homeland Security Advisor George Charferis assured the public today that Guam remains safe and has defenses in place in case the war of words turns into anything more than just that. Charferis spoke before the Association of Government Accountants earlier today. Please believe me when I say we are safe. Charferis explained that while North Korea has tested at least three different types of ballistic missiles, he does not yet believe the country has the technology to accurately hit a target. He added that numerous defenses are in place ranging from Aegis warships to the terminal high-altitude area defense systems and satellites that can track potential launches within seconds. The minute we know that it's, it's a threat to the United States or to the Allies or Guam, those systems are talking to each other and they come up with, what I, once again, what I call a fire solution. They come up with the best solution and they knock it out of there. The missile intercept can happen either in the endo or exo atmosphere. There's no explosion. It breaks it up. He added, in the event of a potential incident, the island's all hazards alert warning system would go off and residents would be encouraged to stay indoors until the all clear is given. Earlier this month, Homeland Security also announced plans to fast track funding for 31 additional emergency sirens for the island. Reporting for Guam's News Network, I'm Isa Baza. Brought to you by GTA, your island, your network.